everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my nails i have sped up this video because otherwise it would be about three hours long <laughs> i'm going to go through the prep as well so i have taken my nails completely off yes so in my last set the green one that you can see that's currently on my right hand oh so i'm just coming in now with my e-file with my little mushroomy bit and I only have it on about 3,000 RPMs, nice and gentle. Um, make sure you keep it flat. And this is in the forward position. So mine stays in forward because I just move my hand around um, to do it. So I don't have to keep changing from forward to backwards. So, yes. So the green set was my last set. And I think I probably sold you in that set that my index finger was well and truly mushed out of shape you know it takes an absolute batter in i was keeping my natural nails on because i thought it would make life easier of not having to keep tipping or whatever but the reality is i hated it i i i, I don't like the shape of my natural nails okay they're flat there is you know i'm looking at how they've grown out I'm like there is no c curve going on uh, there's you know, even my apex, everything just didn't look quite right and I wasn't happy with them. And I was just feeling really meh. So I was like, right, show note, come on, big girl pants on, strip them all off, get your tips out. Oh, that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> tips to ips. <laughs> oh, tickle myself there. Oh, yeah, get your tips out and... um come on let's do these properly and oh my god they're brilliant i am super chuffed with these um yeah i oh it's so nice to have some c curves and just oh yeah some nice shape and i was just really really chuffed um now which part which bit have i got yeah so i've got the flat one now i find down some of my nails i end up with um especially down the sides, like a bit of extra, I don't know if it's like extra skin or whatever, but just right in those side flaps, um, I just like to get in there with this bit as well. But I do like my mushroom as well, as my sister points out, going, you really like your mushroom, don't you? I'm like, yes, I do like my mushroom. Because um, I find it kind of does a lot of the cuticle up the top as well. It's just quite nice. I just like it. Uh, but you could just use this bit and the other bit if you wanted to. That's fine. Right. So then I'm going to come in with the ball bit. Um, and just take off some of that excess. Up the top, I do not use nippers. Honestly, it grosses me out. I can't even watch people nip people's cuticles. It actually makes my upchuck reflex kick in. Um, and I, yeah, I am I am dry heaving. I just, I don't like it. Um, so this is what I do. This is the best I do. We, we all know my sister has got very sensitive cuticles. Um, so I never nip hers anyway. I just use, I just do what I can do with a ball bit. And at the end of the day, it looks better than it did to start with. Then it's a win. We'll go with it. <laughs> Um, so yeah it was it was it was an experience to grow my nails out because i don't think i've ever grown my nails that long um but you know if, if you're looking at this and you're looking at me left hand as well you're going nah nah me no like and then just as i did my nails kylie wary has come back doing youtube and she did this amazing almond set like gothic almond i was like if i only had squeezed my tips i could have ended up with that shape because i love that love 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 uh one of my favorites i've got the exotic nail tips from glitter planet which basically are a russian almond ba you know they the only problem i have with them is they are so long and every time i try to cut them down they just go the weirdest shape 
I'm like going, I can't hear me. I can't. I, I, no. It, it, just, it just doesn't work. Um, but these, I know I said, oh, I'm, I'm going shorter now with my nails. I'm not going to go so long. I bloody am with this set. We are back. <laughs> uh, so I've just come in with my sanding band just round the cuticle just to make sure there's definitely no skin uh, left. I mean, we are a few weeks down the line. I am just about to infill i mean they're not they're not quite ready for an infill but you know when you like i've got a slot in my calendar to do my nails so no matter what they are getting done um i do have a bit of lifting with these but what i would say is my and i know i know why right these are ridiculously long did i look after them as well as i should do because of the length and the answer is no i didn't um yeah <laughs> there is no excuse this is purely my fault um i know damn well what i've done um i mean it's it's not bad i've just got a little bit a little bit you know like when you when you're picking stuff yeah you know and you know damn well you shouldn't use nails to do it but you do it anyway yeah i've done i've done stuff like that so bad me but hey there we go so i'm going to put my tips on now i'm sorry i don't know whether to show people putting tips on but i thought eh, eh. the ones that i'm using i got these from ebay and they have got a half well i quite like a half well um i find putting them on makes it a hell of a lot easier when you've got a well there because you know exactly where you're putting it um so yeah, so what I do, I put a bit of glue on and normally I kind of waggle it a little bit just to kind of like get a bit of airflow on it before I then stick it to my finger. And the other thing I like to do is I like to come and put my clear base down on it before I cut the tips down and I file them and all of that. It just means that they are well and truly stuck on before I do anything because I do have a habit of pinging my tips off. Um, or I certainly did. I don't know. I haven't done it for a while. So, you know, perhaps I would be better now. I don't know. I don't like to risk it. I just go with it. So I come in, I'm using my pinch tool not to pinch the tip, just to get the flaps to stick down so it doesn't stick to my fingers. Which when you've got two hands and you're doing this on a person, you just use both your thumbs to do. But obviously when you've only got one hand available, I find the pinching tool just works quite well. I do end up pinching that pinky though later on as well. So, in my infinite stupidity, um, the pinky one is, um, there you go, see my little waggle, is slightly too big. It's, it's too big, the tip, so I filed it down to try and fit. Because, and I was like, well, this is really weird. Why does it not have any smaller, you know, smaller tips? It did have smaller tips. They were, they were in a different drawer. Um, I don't know why I've got them split into two different areas, but I had and I forgot and I found them after I'd already done my set because I'm brilliant. Um, <laughs> so the, the, the pinky was, it just still felt a bit too big, um, when I put the product on. So I do come along and actually pinch that one just to bring it in that little bit more. In case you're wondering why I end up pinching later, because I don't normally pinch. These are extreme length and pre-pinched tips, okay? You do not need to pinch them. I only did it for the pinky. That was it. There we go. See, nice and straight out. Beautimus. Boing! You do not want your tips floating downwards or upwards. I know there is this thing, and it's a lot of American companies, uh, you know, channels, they have them curving. Ooh. <laughs> they are actually curved tips. And I'm like, Bleh. nope, Bleh. don't like them. Just, no, don't like them. I mean, I do everything to avoid my nails going downwards, which is the problem with my natural nail. They do actually start to grow down. Not flat, which is why my shape... The last set, I was like, I, I just don't understand what's going wrong. And then when I realised that my nails actually grow slightly downwards, 
it then all makes sense really so right i have dehydrated those nails and i'm just coming in with my clear base now um, i am using nail nails max adhesion they're clear i'm going to come in with um perfect blush which is my favorite one now somebody asked me the other day about do you notice that nail nails um kind of peaches out a bit and i have to say when i watch kirsty meekin's videos when she was using nail products i did notice that but i wondered if that was because people were using fake tan and stuff like that and whatnot so i'm kind of giving this a bit of a test um so this set i'm going to do the most basic infill really on it um because the next time i infill will be just before i start all the christmas videos so i am going to take a week off from videos um so you'll see me infill and redesign this set and that's probably my last one because obviously I've got 25 videos to make for um, the Glitter Stella advent so that's a lot of videos it's a lot of work I need time to do it basically <laughs> um, right let's get these tips cut down so I think I ended up about a three I know I kept going, I can't get my old. Yeah, here comes my ruler. <laughs> here comes my ruler. I try and get the first one where I want it, and then I will kind of eyeball it a bit more for the other ones. Yeah, right. So moving on. <laughs> so I've cut my tips and I have filed the sides just to make sure everything is as I want it. And then we're going to come in with the design part. So what I'm doing, I'm actually leaving. And the reason I did tips as well is because I want a clear tip. I want you to be able to see through right, right at the end. So I'm kind of bringing the product down. And whilst I want, I want it to kind of fade out towards the end of the tip. And that's the other reason why I didn't pinch you know, squeeze these tips to, you know, pinch them in anymore because I don't want the crease. It was very, very important. Kind of more the, the square. This kind of shape is really in at the moment. Well, more square. People are liking, you know, these are still coffin-shaped ones, although they're not an extreme coffin. Um, but, yeah, people are really liking square again at the moment. Um, no. It ain't happening, sorry, but no, I'm not doing it. Um, <laughs> if anything, I'm going to go kind of more Russian almond. Um, I, yeah, I think normally around Christmas, the exotic tips come out, um, which is when I will do a set. Um, but yeah, I generally, yeah, I like... I like the look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these tips again, I think, but really pinch them in like Kylie did. Kylie? 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 I've, I don't know. I've lost my thoughts. Um, anywho, right. So I'm going to bring that product down. And like I say, I'm leaving the tip. So I'm just going to cap the tip in clear. Um, I had a major mare with my brush. Now, you can't quite tell it, obviously, because it's, it's on the bottom side, but I've actually got a bit of acrylic stuck in my brush. So when I used this brush last time, although I thought I cleaned it all out and everything, there is a bit, and it is it was like the tiniest bit to start with, but as I was doing this, obviously, it's, it's building up, it's picking up more, and I'm like going, I am really... I'm, what the hell is going on? This is really doing my nothing. Because everything just seemed to be sticking. I'm like, you shouldn't be sticking. You know, brush is clean, this, that and the other. You know, what's the problem? Um, so you don't see me do all of the nails um, because I had to go and sort my brush out. <laughs> um, so I think you get to see me do three of them, but I'm basically doing exactly the same thing. So the pinky, the middle and the index finger are all exactly the same. And then we're using some glitter on the ring finger and the thumb. Okay, 
we're just going to keep working that um the glitter that i'm using is called saturn and it's from the glitter fairy um, the planets collection so it probably doesn't exist anymore so i apologize for that but i've been wanting to use it for absolutely forever and it just really worked with what i wanted to do i just i wanted a, a more plain set but i didn't want boring <laughs> i know i can't win can i um see what I mean this one is just it's a little bit fatter than I want it to be um so I am going to come in and pinch that later on right so we're going to pick a uh, pick up a, a tiny bead of clear and then we're going to pick up the glitter roll it on well I didn't pick up a tiny bead bit of glit clear I picked up an absolute giant amount didn't I hmm. go me <laughs> and i am just going to keep working my glitter around where i want it until i am happy with it and just you know make sure it's lying nice and flat as well Okay, so we need... Oh, I'm sorry, that's my belly. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. All right, so I'm just testing that pinky to see if it's ready to put a pinching tool on. You see, I'm starting to notice the fact that something is just not right with my brush, so I do try to get it out. And I get some of it out, and I'm just gently using this. I know it looks horrific, but it's everything's spread, sped up a bit. But even after I'd done that, it still wasn't right, so I actually had to properly clean my brush Right, we're going to pinch that pinky. I'm trying to hold it there whilst I do the next finger. <laughs> so I'm not doing a tight pinch. I'm just trying to get that just to pinch in a little bit. And then we shall move on. Right, so now this middle finger is going to be exactly the same as the pinky.
Okay, and then once I've finished them off, I'm going to come in and do some filing. So I'm going to do my side walls and my free edge first. It is always really hard to do your pinkies. Um, what I normally do is round my cuticles. I come in with my sanding band. I find you can get a lot closer and generally I don't. I don't damage the cuticles that way. I'm much nicer than I am with um <laughs> than I am with a file. So I'm just straightening that wall up. I don't think I was paying that much attention to what I was doing at this point, to be perfectly honest. It's not the same routine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've missed a bit. I did that bit in there. I did that bit in, you know. So, sanding band around the cuticles. So, normally what I do is I do my free edge first. Just make it nice and straight so it's coming from the natural nail and it's coming straight out. Um... And then I do my free edge as well. Then I come in with my sanding band and I do round my cuticles. Then I will swap to my 180 grit hand file and then start refining the shape and bringing it in. If obviously the nails are really bulky, then I will um, I will use my e-file as well. Now that middle finger, I know it looks like there's a dip in it. It's because there's too much product right on the end of that um which is fine because i'm going to file it off anyway so i'm not fussed about it because that the dip will not be there by the time i've finished filing it like i say by that by the time i got to that nail i knew damn well something had gone very wrong with my brush um so i kind of got through that one and then you'll see i mean the next nails that i did were absolutely fine because i was using a, a fresh brush to do them um, it's it, do you know what I'm kicking myself though because I I generally don't do that I mean that's a very rare thing for that to happen um yeah I don't know what happened I really don't hmm. hey ho we got there in the end that's the main thing Right, so now I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to take some of the bulk off the sides. I've been trying the, um, what are they called? They're not the carbites, they're the opposite one. These these drill bits, rather than the carbite drill bits, um, I, don't, I don't actually like them as much. I really like my Melody Susie carbite bits. Um, for debulking as well, I find it, it works a lot better. Um, and I find, I don't know, it, I find these get hotter than my carbide bits. I know, it's an odd one because people have, have said the opposite, actually. Um, but I don't know, I, I feel it more, the heat coming off these when I'm using ceramic bit that's what it is you know when you like hearing that bloody word what what is that word it'll come back to me in a minute um yeah i i find it heats up more i know weird isn't it right so once i've done this i will get my hand file out and start refining the shape even more i'm not going to talk through that bit because you know just watch that bit
there we go we've done the file and buff so now we're going to move on to some nail art so i'm using my azure gel paste paste paint even and i'm just going to add some details on um yeah I, I, there's not really a lot to say about that to be honest <laughs> I'm just going to paint it on. Um, I, for the big areas, I do do two coats. I do do. I do 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 do. Um, and then I will cure them for 30 seconds in my LED lamp between each coat. And then, because that's not enough, we're going to add a couple of gems as well. So this is the Steampunk collection from a Crystal Parade. And I'm just using a bit of Chi Gel. I'll come over with my top coat. And then stick those crystals on. Simple as that. Um, we're going to do very similar things to the index finger and the middle finger so again i'm just gonna let you watch because not everybody wants to watch all of this stuff but some people really enjoy when i'm doing a bit of hand painting or if i'm putting crystals on or filing or whatever so in this video i've tried to do a bit of everything so there's a bit of prep there's a bit of application there's a bit of filing there's a bit of hand painting there's a bit of gems yeah i've thrown pretty much everything at you in this one <laughs> but when it's an hour-long video i'm kind of running out of things to say <laughs> i know me lost for words i know it's a shocker um but yeah so i'm kind of gonna let you watch obviously if you've got any questions or you know you want to make any comments please do so in the box below i will always get back to you um and i'm gonna come back in and talk to you a bit shortly
Okay, and that's the all we're going to do on that one. So we're just going to come along and top coat the rest of them. And then that's this video done. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, any questions or comments you want to make, please do so. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one.